here's a classroom full of medical students, and this is a computer. The way you teach each is very different. What you have in front of you here are CT scans of a human lung with cancerous tumours. I'll be teaching you how to identify them and hopefully save lives. The human brain is brilliant at learning things. It can understand spoken words. And what are you looking for with the abnormality? It can understand diagrams. Just through the teacher's descriptions, these students can have a good guess at finding tumours in these images. They get some right, and they get some wrong. But with repetition and practice, their brains make more and more connections, which strengthen with success until eventually we really understand the task in front of us and we can do it well. But computers are dumb. They literally know nothing. They can't look at a diagram and imagine it in real life. They can't understand spoken words. Normal teaching methods won't work. So instead of trying to describe to them what we want them to learn, we teach them using trial and error. Millions of trials, in fact. The computer starts by circling completely random parts of the image. It just guesses. It doesn't even know what it's guessing at. All it knows is when its guess is right and when it's wrong. And mostly, because it's guessing, it's going to get it wrong. And the great thing about computers is they can do this over and over again really fast and they remember everything. And every time it does accidentally get it right, it makes a connection to its previous correct guesses. With every right answer, certain connections get stronger. And with every wrong answer, others get weaker. Through this barrage of guesses, a network grows, similar to the human brain, which starts to distinguish between right and wrong a digital thought process that we call a neural network. Until eventually, after a multitude of attempts, it has very few failures and a lot of success. Okay, let's try some more difficult scans now.